all right so what is going on today youtube um you're going to be doing something a little bit different from what i usually do um i did see this duel because this is like the first duel i've watched in i don't know how long because um i really don't be going on dueling network anymore or dueling nexus whatever the hell it's called so i don't i rarely watch duels but this is a good one so we're going to just watch it today and if you guys do like it leave a like let me know what you think about it and stuff like that so what I, let's just start the duel because I'm just going to keep talking. So as you can see, we're going to, I don't even know what to call this deck. It, it would be in the title though, but uh, I don't know what to call this deck, but we're going to trade true Dracos against dinosaurs. I guess you can just call it just dinosaurs, but it is playing true Draco cards. So, um, or true King cards. So I guess true King dinos or something like that. But yeah, as you can see, he's going completely off and with the Imperial order, he can easily stop his opponent's hand. And he's going to end with double Lagia the first turn, which is fucking crazy. Activate the Imperial Order, and then he, get, he gets a free Lagia in the game. Look, he did top that Cosmic Cyclone. So as you see, your opponent, my, I mean, his opponent, I mean, he's, he has the Masterpiece. So they can just uh, sacrifice both of those, pop both. Card of Demises, Pot of Desires. Look, this is what I'm talking about, man. Every time um, on, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, it, it, I guess it's just if I'm not dueling, or even if I am dueling, people just have the best hands. And as you can see, um, this man is in a sort of a pickle going on right here. And he top decks his Lost World because he is playing this card. Gives him the quick token, searches a Doggeron, attacks into it, destroys that, gets one of those. I believe this can attack, correct? Yeah, this can attack. Otherwise, it possibly, no, it was not a big game. So he's going to go Doka, get Solemn Strike. 1300 left but he does have a card of demise and a true draco card so he can definitely get over a lot of stuff going on here and then he goes he draws two and what's crazy is i was wondering why the hell did he draw two because it says you know you can draw off, I, i'm thinking it only for the cards i mean for the number of true true draco cards or something like that sent to the graveyard but it also counts true kings and it doesn't even have to be on your field so because this is a true king so he got to draw two cards off of that and he put, I, what would he do? He drew a pot of the wildy. So now he gets to get his searching on. And even if, even though he only has nine cards left in his deck, um, he's going to just shuffle back those three, draw, I mean, and then it's just now, now what do you do? You can't really do anything. Now he's getting his masterpiece back on. Now is this right back in uh, Adam's favor? He could have actually summoned that because I believe that was an extra normal summon. So you activate um, Galaxy Cyclone and banishes the face down. But sadly, he does not have another Tyranno Infinity in his deck, so he can't do anything. But he can search this. And look at this. Card of Demise is being top deck every single damn turn, and it's so fucking stupid. Drops another Masterpiece. I don't know. How many Masterpiece? Was that third? That's the third Masterpiece this duel, I believe. The, either the third or fourth. So here he goes against Ultimate Conductor. Activate and pops that. So uh, let's see what's going on. He has two cards. He only has to survive for two more turns, and he can actually win. But with Masterpiece being on the field, it is going to be a very healthy duel. And, uh, nope, can't survive. He actually ends up losing because, you know, this Masterpiece is so damn broken. And when you, when you can top deck five card of demises and draw ten cards in one turn, you're just doing pretty good. And, all right, here we go with the second duel. And as you can see, he sided in the Master Restricts, which are going to play a, a very key part because he can't tribute none of his cards. And as you can see, he opened up another card of Demise, Pot of Desires, and all this stuff. All these draw cards. Look, double card of Demise. Like, it's like this man, is like, card of Demise is at 10 in his damn deck. But he does get the Cyclone, activate the Cyclone, and then he changed another Master Restrict. So I know Adam is just like, fuck, there's nothing really I can do. He has to discard his hand. He really can't do anything with these cards. But what True Draco is, you can pop any card. I believe it's any card. Uh, is it? No, you can target one other True Draco or True King card. Pop it, and you get, uh, what's the name, to reduce the attack. So um, he tries to pop this, but he did use, uh, what is it called? Uh, mis miscellaneous Source, <laughs> which is a fucking weird name for a card to have. Um, but he does, Weston, he actually does um, get over the Master Restrict because, he, you know, once again, this just has all the attack. All you have to do is tribute a card, tribute that to pop this. But this is going to book everything on the field or on his side of the field. And he activates another card of demise. Like, damn, look at this pot of Diwali. Goes into a terraforming. But I believe that maybe he just did not have anything to actually come back. Probably all three masterpieces were banned, banished or something like that. And he just did not have any access to keep going. But we're going into the final duel of this good match. And all right, we start off uh, game three with another double match restrict. And he let Adam let him go first. 
And as you can see, he's going off right now. He's going to start off with a Lagia double mask of restrict. And look at his hand. He can't do shit about it. He doesn't have access to anything right now. He can easily Lagia, but he doesn't. He, um, I, I possibly would have negated that because I, I kind of I want to get rid of this. This is the problem because it easily gets him to most of their cards. But hey. Um, he doesn't so he, he pops this he activate the disciples and uh, yeah, this is going a lot It's going pretty fast. I'm trying to keep up here folks, but look look at this He probably hits another card of the binds. No, he hits a pot of desires Activates pot of desires uh, Activate two Draco successes draws three cards because he sent every card to the graveyard he's Just just fucking stupid and then you know what happens he drops another I mean he drops he drops masterpiece and since he didn't activate Carter Demise this turn, that's 29.50. And look at that. Just by the swing of things, he opened up double Master Restrict. He had a, 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 a what's the name? A, a Lagia, double Rasty Restrict, Beast Monsters on the board. And it just, it can't really phase with it. You can't, can, you can't really fuck with this deck, man. And, and he had a Skill Drain set with a warning. Like, damn. I don't know really what uh, Pei could do or Pepe or whatever his name is. But look at this. He's just drawing multiple cards because the true draco successor tributes again and that is it a sad a sad ending to a otherwise great duel but thank you guys for watching you hope you guys enjoy it this is my first cut this is like my second time actually commentating a duel so i i'm i, I gotta get better at it so if you guys do enjoy this and you want to see more random meta duels or something like that go ahead and leave a like on that thing leave me a comment let me know what i can improve on stuff like that and also, if you guys do enjoy this, leave a subscribe. And if you guys can, click an ad to help support the channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys next time.